Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Star Trek Fleet Command. So I thought this was really interesting and it kind of goes into my research of how Scopely defines and puts forward their packs for each player. And this is this is one thing that I am currently kind of experiencing for myself is how long can I get away with buying $20 packs? Because I think most of us, when it comes to this game, we we don't want to spend $100 on a pack. And with the article that Scopely put out, they said something along the lines of, you know, pushing players beyond their spending limits. And so that really, that really personally hit me. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to be a tool for Scopely. So I have been buying packs that are $20. I did buy one $50 pack, which was a prime hall research. And this is all in my second account. Every other pack that I bought has been $20. And came along the October monthly pack. Um, this is the very basic level pack that you can get. And I believe they call it just the October reward pack. And so this was $20. And these were the rewards that you initially get with the pack is 10,000 dilithium. 70,000 Tritanium, 2 million Parse Steel, 2,000 Latinum, and 1,000 two-star Uncommon Ore and Gas and Crystal, 5,500k Parse Steel Token, so that's 5.5 million Parse Steel, two, rele two Relocation Tokens, and of course the um, October Reward Chips, 300 for the 30 days, Eight or two eight hour speed ups, 15 three hour speed ups, 35 hour speed ups, 60 15 minute speed ups, 65 minute speed ups, 61 minute speed ups, two one day shields, five eight hour shields, and five four hour shields. So that's initially what I got when I bought the $20 pack. And I'm like, oh, this is a really great value. I'm really liking this a lot. Keep in mind, I'm level 18. And so Initially, I did not get any um, any three star. But take a look when I opened up the daily. So when I opened up the daily, I got um, ten thousand dilithium, one hundred thousand tritanium, five hundred thousand parse steel, two hundred latinum, four three star uncommon ore, gas and crystal. Two star uncommon gas, crystal, and ore. Sixteen of them. Then you had your commons. That you get three star and two star. And then you get your speed ups. Um, that you can see right there. So there was a little disclaimer when I did open it. Let me see if I can go over here. And see if it's still on here. So it's a, a double daily reward. So it, I think it had to do with redemption of yesterday doubled those rewards. So those might be cut in half. Um, if we take a look at, but right here it says double daily value. So I'm not exactly sure what that means as of right now. Um, I'm assuming that possibly, you know, while it says that, <clears throat> you're going to get double the rewards, which is, it's really great right now. Um, and so I'm really happy with this pack that I bought, only 20 bucks. But my point of this of this video is, is that everyone should have access to these kind of packs. No one should be having to spend more than what they're accustomed to, or just because they spend more, they shouldn't be charged more is what I'm saying. Because basically how these monthly reward packs work, and this is my my thinking, and, and you guys let me know if, if you've seen something else, but I believe that under level 20, you get these $20 monthly packs. And, and they're great. They, they help you get ready for um, levels um, 20 and above by getting the three star. But then after level 20, it goes to the $50 pack. However, 
If you buy a $100 pack anytime, you will lose the $20 and the $50 packs. They will be gone. Then they will never come back. So that's my thought process of what's going to happen. I, I do believe that once I do hit level 20, I am going to lose that $20 pack and I'm going to be stuck with that $50 pack. Um, but seriously, $50 for spending on this game is actually, if that's all you're buying every month, that's my that's probably very good for me. Some, for some players, that might be incredibly high. But, you know, I kind of see this this game as like if you're going out to the bar, if you're going out for, for a, a night at the movies, how much money are you going to spend? And it's usually around, you know, $50. And so that's kind of how I justify it in my head. And I have no problem spending that money. I spend a lot of time on this game. And um, it's it's worth it to me. I have I have fun for the most part, minus the uh, scopely bugs that happen all the time. Um, and then I, I definitely did some rating, as you guys can see. Uh, <laughs> I rated I rated a base for like three hours. It was so long. My my poor little thirty two k envoy was just taking one hundred and sixty k at a time, and it had. Oh my God, it had like 25 million par steel and uh, it had 800,000 dilithium, which is what I wanted. And it had like 10 million tritanium as well. Um, so it was, it was ridiculous, um, but it took me quite some time. Um, but, but yeah, so definitely check out those monthly packs. I think the monthly packs... If you're going to spend any money on the game, those are the ones I highly suggest. And never, ever go for the $100 pack unless it's the only one available to you. So um, please put down your feedback down below. Um, I'm really curious to hear what everyone's thoughts are, what everyone has seen themselves um, to kind of get down to the root of the issue here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell. And I will talk to you guys later.